So every now and then, someone will ask me if there's anything special that they need to do in order to MIG weld aluminum. Some of the things they're going to need are a dedicated stainless steel brush. As you can see, I mark mine aluminum only. That's so if my son or a friend is in the shop, they don't pick this up and use it for something else, get it dirty, and then that's adding impurities into my base metal. The other thing you're going to need is 100% uh, argon gas. You'll need some aluminum wire. Here I have some Hobart 4043 and a 5356. You're also going to want a spool gun. You don't want to try to push this soft wire through your 10-foot gun on your MIG welder. It'll just bird's nest up inside the machine and it'll just feed a lot better and you'll have a lot less headaches if you just get yourself a spool gun. So now let's talk about what you need to do in order to prep the aluminum before welding. The biggest thing is getting that oxide layer off. So use your stainless steel brush for that. As you can see, I have a flap wheel and a grinding disc here. These are specific for aluminum and dedicated for aluminum, but I do not like to use those for cleaning because they will typically bury impurities down into the base material and that'll come back out while you're welding. I only use them if I have to, such as if I have some thicker material and I'm beveling that in order to get better penetration. The last thing you're gonna wanna do is wipe the area down with acetone. Um, and with the acetone, you're gonna wanna make sure you use a clean rag. Don't grab one of these red, dirty shop rags. Um, even if it's new, I don't like to use those. They just tend to have oil in them and they'll put more impurities on your base metal. So a tip for taking the aluminum oxide layer off is you're gonna have your stainless steel brush and you're gonna start going back and forth and it's gonna be a little bit slick at first. But once you break through that oxide layer, you're gonna feel a little bit of resistance and then you can just stop, that's all you need to do. You get down to the parent material and that's all you need. So welding aluminum for the first time can be challenging, but if you follow these steps to properly prep the material, it will give you the best chance of making a successful weld.